Three, two, one. Doop. Doop. This should be fucking lovely. Yes. It's been hard to get it to work. I, I need to check what um, F12 does in a action. <laughs> Capture screenshots. Okay, I think I took like 14 screenshots just now. <laughs> I can't do this shit anymore. Yep, I got four audio. The audio is still recording, David. No oh, fuck. Hi F F ten. Hi F ten. F ten. Ah! Two, one, go. Okay. Look at you, hacker. A pathetic creature of meat and bone, panting and sweating as you run through my corridors. How can you challenge a perfect, immortal machine? Now you know this was made by the guys who made Bioshock, right? No, I didn't know that. A rogue yep. artificial intelligence known as Shodan lost her mind. In her limitless imagination, Shodan saw herself as a goddess destined to inherit the earth. That image was snuffed out by the hacker who created her. February 3rd is the day the magic happens. The Von Braun, the first starship in history capable of traveling at faster than light speed, will undertake her maiden voyage. This incredible journey is the result of teamwork between the UNN Protectorate and the incredible scientific minds of the newly relicensed Trioptimum Corporation. Imagine dun, 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 dun. to travel to distant star systems in a period of weeks. It's all part of Triop's commitment to the future. The Von Braun is packed with over 1.8 billion flight, scientific, and security systems, nearly all developed by Trioptimum and its wholly owned subsidiaries. Providing security for the Von Braun as she plows through the heavens will be the UNN Rickenbacker. At her helm will be no less Rickenbacker. Than Rickenbacker, that's a type of guitar and bass. The Battle of Boston Harbor during the Eastern <laughs> States Police Action. <clears throat> This incredible union of government and corporation is made possible by an intricate series of docking mechanisms that will allow the Rickenbacker to piggyback its way into jump space. <laughs> Rickenbacker. <laughs> Rickenbacker. <laughs> Fast. That's the new, what was the last one? Who knows what wonders await our crews in the bosom of the cosmos. All we do know. I don't know. Great day for mankind. What was it? What were we playing the other day that had a name in it that we just lost our shit on? Oh, it was in... It was a name, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, what were we playing? Fuck. Ethan Carter. And it was Van it have been. Vanders Vandergriff. Vandergriff. That was it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Vandergriff Rickenbucker. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I fucking remembered something. Welcome to the Ramsey Center UNN recruitment facility. Please watch your step when leaving. Well, that sensitivity is just glorious. Yep. I don't think you can actually change it. Yeah, you can. Right there it is. To the street level training and recruitment center. Please proceed to the graph shafts. Okay. How you doing? I'm all right. I see a phone. I'm phoning someone. This phone is temporarily out of order. Uh, so is there anything to find here, or just we just walk through the door? I honestly can't remember. <coughs> Boop. Boing, boing. Step okay. Into the grab oh. shaft to proceed to the street level recruitment. Okay. I stepped into the shaft. Whoa! Did, did you touch the shaft? I'm flying. It's not. Now, now stroke the shaft. Okay, I'm go. I'm. I'm trying to go further up the shaft. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You have trouble. Ah, you hold space. Okay. Can't get it up. I couldn't get up there. I wasn't. I didn't have to. I didn't have to hold space. I had to hold space. Were you going up the down shaft? 
Were you doing the sci-fi equivalent of going up the down escalator? Hold on a second. You can see which one's up and down by the little particles. Ah, oh, fuck yeah, I was trying to go up the down one. <laughs> uh, oh, fuck. Basic training. You choose your career, you'll want to learn some basic abilities. Okay. First, you should go into the basic training center when you're done. Uh oh, I didn't rebind my keys correctly. Look up, look down, center view. Well, how do you walk backwards? Oh, that's the one. The one that says backwards. With basic training, proceed to the advanced training area. Ooh. To pick up, welcome, trainee. While you're in our virtual <laughs> training courses, we provide you with a simulated cyber interface. This training interface is identical to an actual military grade cyber interface. Okay. Now, let's try it out. Okay. Move the mouse. See how it changes where you look? That means you're in shoot mode. Hit the tab. When I pause it, does it pause for you? This puts nope. you in use mode, where you can okay. use your mouse to interact with items in the world. Oh. Open your primary MFD, or multifunction display, by clicking on the MFD button near the bottom of the screen. This display shows your strengths in various areas. When you're ready to continue, press the tab key to go back to shoot mode. Try changing between Hi. modes until you get the hang of it. Follow the red path along the ground to the next training station. Okay, where you at? Uh, I pressed tell the key to try and talk back and now I've got a thing and I'm confused. No, the... The tilde key isn't to talk, it's the uh, apostrophe. Where the fuck? Aha. To pick up items, so how do I make that thing at the top screen, get to fuck? Right -click. This will automatically uh, I think that's inventory. just there. Yeah. View your inventory, press the tab key. You can move items I think that's there for us to chat. Clicking and dragging them around. To, drop to use items like buttons and computers, center them in your view. To use items like buttons and computers, center them in your view and click the right mouse button. All usable items will have brackets around them. Highlight the button on the pillar and right click. This will activate the lift. Try it out. If you can still see your inventory display, it means you're in use mode. Hit tab to return to shoot mode. The object before you is a med hypo. Pick it up and then press tab to go into use mode. Right clicking on the med hypo will use Yeah, I'm remembering how um See the crate complicated this game is? To search yep. it, center it on your screen and right click. If I remember liking mode, it though. Simply yep. move the pointer to the crate and right click. To take an one of the most important tools you have as a soldier is your PDA. This device stores audio logs, emails, and other useful imp now it's time to learn about jumping and mantling. To jump, simply press to climb a ladder. Simply walk into it and look upward. You'll automatically start climbing the ladder. Okay, exit. I'm not done. Well, remember, if you're unclear on any aspect of what you've just learned, you can repeat the training as often. They're going to advanced training now. Uh, or do you want me? I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you. <clears throat> System shock two. I am having fun. There's a little robot making some noise. Hello. What's your name? Is there a reason that the gap in the window makes me stare directly at your groin? <laughs> Am I that short or is it just you're tall? Okay, I'm very Robo sorry. Robo groins. Robo groins. Alright, I'm going through advanced is. training. Okay, I am through the door. If you've completed basic training, you're ready okay. for advanced lessons provided here. Now here's the deal. Training will familiarize you with the three key areas mm. of military service. Blah, blah, blah. Weapons training, technical training, and psionics training. Approach the cyberlink okay. to choice to train in that Shut area. up, guy. When you finish training in the three areas, proceed directly to the recruitment center to choose Okay, so here's the deal. Your military <clears throat> career. There's three I can't remember exactly how this works. I think you pick a class and you're kind of, I, I think you could still kind of build yourself in other directions if you want. Mm -hmm. 
There's weapons, which is, you know, actually being able to use weapons. There's psi skills, which is like psychic powers, and then technical, which is like uh, hacking and stuff like that. There's benefits of all of them. Obviously, with weapons, the better you are with weapons, the easier you can repair them. If you're not very good at weapons, you'll find something like a shotgun or something. You'll use it like twice, and it'll fucking break. Ah, okay. Um, technical, you can hack stuff. And another bonus of being able to hack is there will be like uh, doors and stuff that you can hack into to get into secret places. Mm -hmm. And then psionic powers is like being able to shoot mind bullets. Okay. That. So how do you want to build your character? I, I, if this was like, as it's like my first time going through this, I would always just go for weapons. But okay, let's both do weapon training real quick. Oh okay. I think you could do each one. Yeah, it said you could do each one and then pick at the end. Teach you how to handle a firearm. Pick up the pistol and the clip from the table. You can equip the weapon in one of two ways. Bring up your inventory and drag the pistol to your weapons equip slot near the right hand side of your inventory. If that's too slow for you, you can use the hotkeys on the keyboard. Press two. If the pistol was in your inventory, it will equip for you <laughs> automatically. To lock and load the ammo clip. Hit the R key or hit the reload button on the lower right corner of your screen. Once you've loaded the fire, <laughs> that's you creepy. Shot the dummy robot by pressing your left mouse button when in shoot mode. Notice how his health bar gets shorter as you chip away at it. Yep. Some items need to be charged with energy before they can be used. Pick up the laser pistol. Now use the recharging station nearby. The recharge station will juice up all of your energy based items, weapons, Batteries, you name. It. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I forgot there's also energy weapons and stuff. Weapons are not fine wines. They do not get better with age. The colored dot on the lower right corner of the screen tells you what kind of shape your firearm is in. Green is good, red is bad. To fight the effects of wear and tear, a soldier with maintenance skill can use a maintenance tool to approve the condition of his weapon. Just pick up the tool, open your inventory, and drag the tool onto your pistol. Remember that maintenance tools are only good for a single use. Yep. And I think that as you level up your maintenance skill, your maintenance tools will do more repairing. Okay. So you done with the uh, weapon training? Yep. All right, let's try technical training. Inside, we'll teach you the basics of... Okay. Welcome. You'll notice when the object in front of you is a container of nanites. Nanites are consumed whenever you perform technical tasks, such as hacking or repairing. When you pick up the container of nanites, they do not go in your. I gotta stop walking forward. But are instead oh. displayed in use mode. Keeps, on the it keeps skipping bits of dialogue. <laughs> Walk over to the keypad by the door and try out hacking. Use the keypad All right. by clicking on it. <clears throat> to the right of the number pad, you'll see an orange tab labeled hack. Left click on the tab. Text will appear indicating the difficulty of the hack and any bonuses that apply. Click on the start button to begin hacking. You'll see a grid of nodes. Clicking on a node will either turn it bright or dark. <laughs> to successfully hack, you must connect three bright nodes in a straight line. Really? You wear the ice nodes mm -hmm. with the red outlines. You farted you just as I picked that up. I'm like, that's a weird sound effect. <laughs> on or worse. Okay. You can restart your hack attempt at any time by hitting the reset button. Uh, though you'll have to pay the nanite cost again. Uh, 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 uh. Shut up. Shh. Me or the guy? You! Okay. You can use nanites to buy items from replicators. To yeah. use a replicator, Please right make click your on selection. Them, then left click on the item you wish to purchase. Fuck no. I ain't hear half of that. <laughs> yep. Alright. You learn the basics of the technical skills. There are several other technical skills you'll learn throughout the Inside, you will learn how okay, to you ready for Sai? Dude! I don't want to play this with you anymore. Why? Because I can tell by how quick you're getting done with things that you're not listening to what the guy says. I was listening. 
I hacked all the shit, man. I understand that, mm -hmm. but did you let him finish talking before you did it? Yeah. I don't believe you. I did. I promise. All right. Okay, you you ready to go? I will. Oh, but I, here's the thing. I thought that's why you said all right. I just stepped out of it. I was listening to what the guy had to say. Ah. Uh. Okay. Um, one thing I need to warn you about, this game is meant to be played slowly. Yeah. Alright. Okay, I'm going into the Psy. We've provided you with a virtual interface and the temporary ability to project simulated psionic powers. Once you leave this area, these powers will be lost to you. The red bar at the lower left of your screen tells you how many Psy points you have. Psi points symbolize the current ability to use your Psi powers. Psi hypos replenish your Psi points. Try using a Psi hypo and watch your Psi points increase. When you've reached your maximum in Psi points, move to the next station. This Psi app amplifies your Psi powers and lets you project them into the real world. To equip it, pick it up and then hit the tilde key. Firing the Psy Amp activates your currently selected Psy Discipline. You currently have access to two disciplines, Cryokinesis and Kinetic Redirection. Go into Use Mode and click on the arrows on the bottom right of the screen. This will cycle through your available Psy Disciplines. Later, clicking on the arrows above the number to the left will allow you to select Psy Disciplines from higher tiers. Use cryokinesis to destroy the robot and kinetic redirection to pull that nanite container towards you. Be careful. Holding down the mouse button can augment the power, but holding it down for too long will cause burnout, which will damage you. If you run out of psi points, use another psi hypo. <clears throat> I wonder if I get to keep all these nanites that I'm getting. Mm. I keep pulling a bunch towards me. <laughs> yeah, uh, I pulled a few. Alright, <clears throat> I'm done. Cool. Mastery of the mind is a slow but rewarding process. Return to this area if you need more guidance. Before you enlist in the OSA, it would be useful to experiment in the other training courses. <clears throat> okay. So, out of those three things, what did you enjoy the most? I don't know. Because there's two ways we could do this. Mm -hmm. We could both play the same class. Like, we could both just be grunts. Yeah. Just And just have each other's back. Or we could kind of branch out and like, like for instance, you could be um, weapons. Mm -hmm. So like some of the bigger weapons I'll give to you that we find. Yeah. And then I could be focused. I could have like a little bit of points towards weapons so that I could defend myself. But I could be focused a little more into technical so that I can hack us through some doors. Yeah, I was going to say that might be a good way of doing it. All right. Sounds uh, fun. Okay. What do you want to go technical or weapons? I'll go technical. You go weapons. Oh, wrong door. Yeah. Here's where you make your choice, soldier. Here's where you enlist in one of the three branches of the military. Once you decide on your branch of service, there's no going back. A shuttle will take you to a UNN orbital space station, where you'll receive a briefing regarding your yearly postings. 
Good luck. Wait, which is which? I'm guessing Marines is guns, Navy is technical, and OSA is thing. I think it's probably the same. You know what? Where they are on the thing. All right, I went through Navy. <laughs> well, we'll find out if that's right. <laughs> You're a Marine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can tell it's made by the same people as Bioshock. Okay. Game saved. Hello. Hello. You're not going to talk to me? No? Okay. They're not block. Okay, they're really just... Alright. Oh, hi, robot. Welcome to Space Station Wake Island, Marine. So you've survived basic training at Camp Lejeune. Better still, you've managed Wait to a minute. thing or two huh? about Wait Cinderella. a minute. What's up? But oh, now shit. it's time for the real deal. Your tour of duty will consist of four postings over four... Okay, don't go anywhere to go to... ...a lot of you grunts, but the core is generous. Oh, you shit. get to choose your own postings. Head up to the shuttle bays in the center of the wake island. Okay, where are you at right now, David? I'm being told where to go with my shuttle postings. Okay, you talk to the robot and he's talking to you and shit? Yeah. Okay, I think if I remember correctly, you have an option of a few different shuttles you can go through each year. Uh-huh. And basically what that does is makes it so that um, it gives a few little bonuses to your character that you'll start with. But he mentioned something about me receiving some basic weapons training. So maybe this is the weapons class. But you think Marine would be weapon? I'd, I I couldn't hear when you were saying. Do you do you speak again? Hello. Damn it. I mean, you could do the. Uh, do you have your Kindle with you or something? I have my phone. Yeah, use that to do a quick Google on which class is which. Okay, uh, it's right, it's right, it's right, I think. Yeah, I just found it. All right, so what door did I go through? I'm scared. Okay, okay. Do you see three doors? I see one behind me that's not opening. I see... Oh, door. keep proceeding. Keep proceeding until you see the three doors. Oh, I see them, yeah. Through. Okay. No. When you get clip. Yeah, now I see them. I, th I thought I, there was three doors around the corner. There wasn't. There was only one. But when I went through that one, I can see the three doors. Okay. Um. I think. I think. Uh, uh, like. So it said that Marine was weapons, right? Yes. Okay. I pretty much confirmed it just now because I, I approached them and saw what it does. So as you approach the doors, you don't have to go through them yet. It'll tell you what each one's going to raise. So for me, the left one will raise my hack and my strength. Middle one will raise my repair and my strength, and the right one will raise. Or, uh, raise my modify okay so see what each one will raise for you one is supply ship gallo ordnance master mate no no, no. approach it and in the top left corner there should be some green oh. text that tells you plus two strength plus two endurance or plus two agility Hmm. Okay, so for me, it's all of them gives me a plus to strength, but I can either get ha hack, um, repair, or modify. Hmm. Well, I can't remember exactly what. Uh, hold on, I really need to turn this the fuck down. Okay. Um. For you, I think that agility will help you move faster and like attack with like swinging weapons. I think I, I could be wrong with that. I don't know. I apologize if I'm wrong. Just uh, pick one that you think is good. I think I'll go with hack. I'm stuck between agility and endurance. Uh, I think endurance will make it so that you don't die as easily. Hello, endurance. <laughs> Your 
tour of duty abroad, the UNN Lucille's clue to you spent the productive year. Captain Meyer was pleased with your work, especially with the initiative you showed in physical training. A friendly ensign showed you some back doors into the ship's primary data loop, and you spent your time off pumping good old-fashioned iron. You've gained plus one hack, plus one strength. What's yours? <laughs> your stint at the IO survival school is finished. You managed to survive your year there. Dot, dot, dot. Barely. <laughs> the encounter... It really says that. The encounter with... <laughs> Wait, wait, I love how mine is like, eh, you, you had a friendly dude show you some shit. I think you've been through fucking torture. Yep. The encounter I'm over here, pl I'm over here playing Minesweeper. <laughs> it gets better. The encounter with a descendant of a Citadel Station Tiger Mutant put you in the sick bay for a month, but now you're one tough Marine. You've gained two endurance. <laughs> okay, year two. Okay. All right, what do you got? I have a tour of duty aboard the Antigua should let you pick up one energy weapons and one cyber affinity, one heavy weapons and one cyber affinity, and one standard weapons or two standard weapons. Okay, cyber affinity, I believe, is you can get cybernetic enhancements that kind of give a little boost to your character. Yeah, and I think the better your affinity. So it's just a matter of uh, do you did you like those uh, energy weapons you used earlier? Nah. Okay, so uh, heavy weapons I think would be like uh, rockets and stuff. Yeah. Um, or you could go melee weapons. Well, standard weapons is that like? No, oh, uh, I thought your thing said he uh, uh, melee weapons. The other thing is standard. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that'd be like pistols and shit. Pistols and shit. Okay, don't go through yet. Ah, reversing. Okay, I've got plus two cyber affinity, plus one maintenance, plus two standard weapons. Oh, I'm going to go with standard weapons because it could be a little helpful for me to be able to handle a little bit of weaponry. Yeah, I would say so. Uh, okay, what's yours going to be? I think I'm going to go for standard weapons too. I'm hoping that means, like, melee and pistols and maybe shotguns and shit. Your tour of duty at the Laverne Tactical Training School is concluded. A year of firing ranges, mock boarding parties, and war games has done you good. You spent plenty of time with military-grade pistols, assault rifles, and even auto shotguns. You've gained plus two standard weapons. Okay. <coughs> time to get out of Port Macarthur. <laughs> 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 Time to get out of Port MacArthur and back to Wake Island Station. You got to pick up and refill more ammo casings than you can count. You even got to occasionally play the live target and the expert <laughs> exercise. <laughs> Still, you can't spend a year at the Mac without learning something. You picked up a good amount of standard weapon skill and even impressed some of the Mac's technicians. I was the live target. <laughs> this game hates me. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. We're over here playing games. <laughs> you're, you're, you're like, you're getting shot at. I'm playing Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> oh. Okay, year three. Uh, I got zero G training gives me agility. I got endurance and research. Okay, I have got maintenance, modify, or repair. Okay, maintenance I think will help you fix uh, uh, like machinery that's busted. Yeah. Repair will obviously help you fix your weapons. Yep. And then uh, what was the other one? Modify. Modify will um, you you can get mods for weapons that give like little bonuses to it. Mm -hmm. I think like the better your modify, the better the mods you can get. Yeah, I'm thinking repair. If that's going to be a big factor of the game. See, I kind of want to go with research because if I remember correctly, being able to research allows me to like come up with some pretty cool stuff. Mm -hmm. But I think I'm going to go with the endurance just so I don't die. The colony air yeah. service gets the dregs of the fleet, and the Antigua is the dregs of the dregs. You'll learn a lot about recalcitrant machinery on a tour of duty aboard. What'd you go with? Yeah, I went for repair. Let's see what kind of shit. Maybe they've repaired my fucking. Your tour of duty at the low survival training facility has concluded. You. Oh! I. You didn't kill it, David! I encountered the descendant of the Citadel Station Tiger Mutant! 
Oh fuck! Why sorry. Why didn't you kill? Why did you leave it behind for it, me? It left me in sick bay for a month. <laughs> oh. your thing. Get back to Wake Island Station, Pronto. Your tour of duty on the UNN Antigua is finished. You kept the Antigua running for six months when Earl, every system in the book crashed daily. But your real problems came when the convicts of the air service were shipping through and decided to try a revolt. It took you the rest of the trip to get the smell of explosives out of the air scrubbers, but then you learned how to repair the damn things. Okay. Lovely. So I was doing well and then ah! something blew up. What happened? I accidentally unplugged my mouse. <laughs> that scared me so I bad. My nipples I, shot out. I re realized that screen didn't really match what happened. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you scared okay. me so bad. My nipples popped out. Continue. Uh, well, I'm getting some green text on the screen. I thought you already clicked it. Yep. Five months later, UNN Von Braun near Tau Seti V six seven trillion somethings. Uh. Eric, I don't like it. Oh, Eric, I don't like it. Why don't you like? There was things in the cameras. There's an error restoring my memory. Steady yourself, soldier. This is Dr. Janice Polito of the computer ops staff of the Von Braun. You're safe for the time being. You're recovering from the effects of surgery and will be unable to remember any of the events of the last few weeks. You're on board the starship Von Braun and something's gone very, very wrong. Some kind of force has hijacked this ship. That's why you volunteer to be implanted with some experimental cybernetic implants. Rely on your cyber interface. It just might save your life. You must find an elevator and come up to Deck 4 to meet me. Deck 4. Can you remember that? But keep your eyes open. They're after us both now. Mm-hmm. Ah! Uh. Watch out! I no! Critical decompression hazard in the cryo recovery suite. Evacuate immediately. Why did you do that to me? Why you hold your hand out like you want a handshake? I was, <laughs> you couldn't have tied that any better. I was like, game appeared and then you just kind of went, hello. <laughs> okay. So I think I should, should probably point out, if it's not been obvious already, that Eric's played this before. I haven't. So, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, Eric. Okay. Game paused. Okay, but now it pauses I the know. game. Yeah, okay. 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 I think it uh, synchronizes our saves, so... Oh, that's good. Okay. I started with absolutely nothing. Yeah, me too. I wonder if I can get you to boost me up here. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm trying to get, get, shove your head up the ass. Right, okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go. 
Okay, I think it'd be better for you to take this since you got the strength for it. The ranch? Yeah. Now, you, until I get a weapon, you're going to have to bonk anything that comes across us. Bonk. Oh, wow, that's a slow bonk. That's more of a heh than a bonk. I think you can bonk this now. Oh. Well, I'm strong. Hell yeah. Oh shit! Help! Help! Oh. Uh. Is this an airlock? Cryog I found a cryogenic access car. What is this interface? Many of your actions without cyber enhance your cyber shoot minimal mode. Use more complex mode. Shoot more mode crosshairs, and things happen, and they do things. Get shoot mode, okay? I already did, learned all that in the tutorial! Yeah. Hack it! Hack it! Hack it! Hack what? This that, oh, PDA? PDA, PDA. Okay, you got the PDA. You need to hack the door. Uh, hold on. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Oh, it's on the PDA. It's six six six. Eric. That had a shotgun. Please move immediately to cryo recovery B. Decompression event imminent. <laughs> That's terrifying. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, that you Okay, I now have a bonker. There should be a recharger nearby. Just use it and it will recharge all the power driven devices. Ha hang on, what is that? A dead Oh, okay. Plug it into the auxiliary power. Did you pick up the power cell? Yeah. Stick it in the thing. The vacuum seals won't hold up much longer. I had to recharge it first. Good. You've managed to get out before the whole area depressurized. Okay, don't click anything. Four types of units in the next room. One for each subsystem of your cybernetic gear. Stats, psi, weapons, and tech. But use the modules carefully. They're hard to come by. Okay. We got, I think, four cybernetic modules. Mm hmm Um, yeah. We got four of them. Now you can click on these things uh -huh. to check your stuff that you can upgrade. Mm -hmm. And different upgrades cost different things. Okay. And you got to choose what you want to upgrade. Okay. That's where the exploration in this game is going to come into play. As we can actually get... Mine. Um, you, you, we can actually get... Uh, we can find those little modules, and the more we find... By exploring. Oh, hell yeah. What'd you get? Okay, I just picked up four. Did it give you the four that I got? For what? I didn't notice. Uh, okay, press uh, the button. Maybe it did. Maybe it did. Maybe it did. Press the middle mouse button. Mm hmm. Do you still only have four? I do. I see. I've forgotten. I hate you. Uh <laughs> oh, I've got eight now. Eight cyber modules. Okay. Okay, so, so it shares it between us. That's good. Okay. Man, I, I barely have enough to upgrade any of this shit. I mean, I can get my hack up one. How much does it cost to upgrade any weapons? Yeah, you, you fucking, uh... It'll cost like 16 to upgrade that shit. Oh. Stat, the stats over here we could get up, like the agility. Okay, let's see here. Strength. Determine your inventory capacity and the amount of damage you inflict with hand-to-hand -hand combat. All armor and some weapons have a minimum strength requirement. Endurance. <sighs> Determine your maximum hit points and your resistance to radiation and toxins. Sigh. Don't really care because neither of us are doing that. Uh, agility. Determine your movement speed and reduces fall damage and weapon kickback. And cybernetic affinity improves your chance of successfully using a hack, repair, or modify skill. Also lessens the number of dangerous nodes. All right. And then what's this one over here? Okay, that's just the sigh. 
Okay. Might be beneficial to for me to raise my hack. So I raise my hack. I raise my jelly. All right. Ooh. Found a log. I might as well use in all the points I have just Press now. You. Press you. <coughs> ah. Hey Doc, a security bot showed up with orders for me to place this grunt into the recovery freezer. I'm no cyber doc, but I know a plant job when I see one. I suppose you know they outlawed our grade cyber goodies after that. PM. Okay, when I pick up an, a log, does it give you a thing that we got that? Yeah, I can hit you to listen, yeah. No, I mean, like, up in the corner, does it say, oh, yeah. audio log? Okay, so make sure you listen to those when we get them. Yeah, just... Let's see. What the yeah. hell is that? Oh, nanites. Mine. Eric, why did you lock me in? Huh? Software helps you to perform the various technical tasks such as hacking, repairing, and modifying. Help. Higher le David? Mm -hmm. This isn't a very easy game. I know I was stuck. The door wouldn't open. I know. I understand that. But unless something's like trying to eat us right this second, you can wait until I finish reading. Okay. David? Mm -hmm. I like you. I know. I like how goofy you are. I like that you panic easily. It's fun. Mm -hmm. But if I die because I'm because you forgot something that I was I explained by reading something, uh -huh. and while while I was reading it, you're running off banging against doors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Higher levels of software provide greater bonuses to these operations, both increasing your chance of success on any given node and decreasing the number of dangerous nodes. The exact details of any given task will be indicated in, in the MFD when you attempt to perform it. All right. Didn't we, uh... Hmm. Give me just a second. All right. Don't know the code to this. It'll cost me three nanites to hack it, so I guess that shouldn't be too bad. Mm-hmm. Right, so see with these upgrades, I might as well use them. I have four left. I might as well use them. Uh, if you have any uh, stuff you can afford. I mean, you can. if there's something else you want, we'll get more of those things later. Yeah. Um, if there's another thing you're wanting to save up for. Well, that's why I wasn't sure what I'm better doing in the early game. I can upgrade my strength some as well, or I might just leave it and save up for something. But then it's probably going to be strength I want anyway, so I'm going to go upgrade it. Shh. Shit. Shit. Yes! Got it! What we got here? Speed booster. Another player. Wait, huh? Okay, you get that speed booster. What did you get? Um, I got a speed booster, and I also got a brawn boost implant. You can have that. I think that'll make you stronger for a brief amount of time. Ooh, do you want the other speed boost then, or? Ah, uh, no, I'm not really worried about speed. Okay, let's see here, we can go up. Let's make sure we explore this entire floor first. Uh. Ooh, more. I'm gonna, I, I'm not gonna be too greedy with it, but I will be a little greedy with the nanites, just because it, I, I think you can find shops and spend them, mm -hmm. but it costs me nanites to hack. Yeah, so I'll need a little bit of extra ones. Okay, left info tab to the lower left. Info tab includes a count of how many cybernetic modules and nanites you have. A button to call up your map. A button to call up reports on anything you've researched, and a query button which will give you expanded help text on items in your inventory. Oh, so uh, okay, uh, bring up your inventory. 
Okay. Okay, click that question mark on the bottom left corner. Ooh. And then click on your little brawn boost thing that we just got. Ah, cool. Does it tell you what it does? Yeah, manufacturer's brawn boost. Implant increases the user's STR by one, which is strength, obviously. Uh, burning up 1% of its charge every 10 seconds. The implant acts to circumvent many of the legal restrictions on uh, athletic pharmaceuticals by avoiding any actual drugs and simply stimulating the muscular chur <laughs> with electric and magnetic impulses muscular <laughs> chur <laughs> the text is Please. tiny <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I guess if you equip that, every 10 seconds it'll reduce its charge a little, but it'll make you stronger. So that might be a good thing to hold on to for like when we go to fight something. Yeah. What were you going to say? MF oh. The MFD button on your lower right displays contains information about your character. It has four major areas, one for each category is the character growth. Stats, tech, combat, and size. With the exception of the size screen, these screens are information only and let you know your current abilities. The stat screen also shows your current OS upgrades, and the tech screen displays your installed software. Psy area is a bit more complicated. It has five tabs. Don't really care. Um, you may click on blah, blah, blah. Don't care about Psy. I turned on the light. Are you proud of me? Yeah, I think it's the best thing you've ever done. <laughs> All right, I think we've explored all down here. Let's go upstairs. Oh, burpee, burpee, burpee. Equipping weapons. You may equip weapons in one of two ways. First, you may drag a weapon to your weapon equip slot near the upper right part of your screen or your inventory. Second, you may use the top row of number keys on your keyboard. Each weapon type is mapped to a specific key from tilde to equals, and including the slash key. What the hell? Okay. I'm just going to mouse wheel uh, through it. Yeah. I think the mouse, I think the reason it doesn't mention that is that the mouse wheel, I think that this game came out at a time where not all computers had mice. Yeah. I think that's why it had, like, the weird controls. Um... Uh, repeated process of a number of keys cycle through numerous copies of a single weapon type. Armor and implants can only be equipped by dragging them to the dragging the item to the appropriate slot. Okay. Alright. Oh! Oops. <laughs> Science sector access card. Nine uh, eight. How many how many nine knots do you have? Uh zero. Go ahead and grab that set. I thought... It, oh, it's not Nanex. It's the fucking... Cyber modules it shares. That's right. Um, Take the rifle slugs. Might as well. I mean, you don't got a rifle yet, but... Oh, I will soon, hopefully. Alright. Okay. Want me to take a turn at reading one? Oh, yeah. fuck. Can somebody let me out? Uh, yeah, you can read if you want. Yeah, just give you a little break from it. To see your inventory, hit the tab key. You may only carry a limited number of items, as visually indicated by the number of squares in your inventory. The stronger you are, the more inventory you may carry. You may move items around freely in your inventory and may equip them by dragging them to the weapon slash armor slash implant section on the right, and you may drop them by dragging them into the 3D view, drag them onto the... Yes, yeah, so it's basically just telling us this stuff we already know, which is kind of cool that they put that in in case you just skim through the tutorial without paying attention. I wonder who would ever do that. I was paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's just a sigh arm. We don't really need that. <clears throat> All right. Psy disciplines. I'm not going to bother reading this since neither of us are using Psy. Okay. Oh, no, Fabra. Don't. Mm, okay. 
Wait a minute, wait a minute. Move, move, move your ass. Is there, is there a sprint button? No. How, how far, hold on, let me see how far I can jump. I might make that, I might make that. Ah! Hold on, stay right where you are, I'm coming back up. Can I try it? Yeah, go ahead. I made it and then fucking fail! Oh yeah, now I remember there's- Oh, when you bring the elevator down, they'll let us fish ya. I'm so glad you said that. I was standing right underneath it. Oh god. Did you get it? Wrong door. Oh. I fucking made it. And then ran off the edge. Ah, fucking! Just fucking. Ah, oh, man. We'll get it. Nope. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Ow. I set the elevator down for you. Thank you all. Ah, I made it, but then I thought I might have overshot a little, so I tapped back and then fucking... Yeah, that's the kind of shit I keep doing. I guess whoever makes it gets claim on whatever the hell that is over there. <clears throat> Didn't even jump that time, just ran off the edge. I didn't press that. Oh! Where did you come from? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> David, I'm gonna die. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm, I've got five health left. Hold on. I applied a medical hypo. I don't have any medical hypos. Well, I mean, whose fault is that? Yours for taking it. Oh, hold on. Save. <laughs> then if we die because we're being stupid, <gasps> I made it. What you get? Speed booster and six standard bullets. So. Hi. I love how, since we started this, you've had two mate. <laughs> Let's judge how far I can step forward and look down. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Oh, there's no friendly fire. 